In today's Sunday Fun Day, I'm going to turn this dingy old chair that I found at the thrift store into a pretty little plant stand for my garden. Hey everyone, Liz here with Garden Happy, so I'm super excited. I just picked up this cute little chair at the thrift store. I have no idea if it's an antique or not, and honestly, I don't really care because I think it's adorable. So my plan is to spray it probably a navy blue and I'm gonna put it in my backyard and set a little plant on it so check it out isn't it just adorable and I think it's gonna look so cute in my garden so I'm super excited and I can't wait to get started so the first thing I'm gonna do is tape off the decorative applique with some masking tape really any masking tape will do I'm a very messy painter, so I just figured it would be much easier to take some precautions now rather than try to clean up the paint later. I usually wear a special paint shirt when I'm doing these projects, but since I'm using a spray can, well, I don't think I'm going to make too much of a mess. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, and this is usually when I start ruining t-shirts, but I think I'm going to be okay this time. I decided to paint this chair a nice shade of royal blue, so it matches the blue and green applique on the back of the seat. But the best part is, I didn't have to go to the store to buy any paint, because my husband had some leftover paint from one of his own projects that he never used. So basically, I'm using a recycled chair and recycled paint. I love it. Projects are way more fun when you don't have to spend a lot of money. And what's even more fun is when you have neighbors who feel the same way. Because this is candid and totally unplanned, we aren't wearing any microphones, but I still wanted to share it just for fun. I'll leave a little caption in case you can't hear him. Yeah, I got, I got it at the thrift store. On the chair? Yeah, and there's like little tiles on the front, green and blue tiles. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You don't always find the good stuff, man. <laughs> oh shoot, I got grass on it. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this now and put a cute little plant here and set it in my backyard for its permanent home. Yay, isn't that pretty? So far so good. So let's head over to my succulent propagation station. And this is also where I start seeds. And let me show you what I'm gonna use. I found this really cute terracotta pot at a garage sale. I don't really care for what's inside of it, so I'll probably change it up a bit. The fun thing about succulents is you can take little cuttings and they root back so quickly. For example, I could just pinch off this little piece, stick it in that pot with dirt, and it'll form roots. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a bunch of little cuttings and snippets from this area and come up with something really pretty. So basically what I'm going to do is gather together a bunch of cuttings and also some succulent pieces that need to be potted. I also have some coleus that have rooted and those need to go in some dirt as well. I'm not quite sure what exactly I'm going to use in my new pot, but I'm just going to gather together a bunch of plant material and I'll figure it out as I go along. I think I'm going to use this Haworthia in my new pot as well because I think it will make a nice centerpiece and add some texture and interest to the display as well. You know me, if I can utilize what I already have without spending money, 
I'm a happy camper. Plus, it just feels good to be resourceful. Here are some other Haworthias I use in my garden. I love them so much because they're so easy to please and they multiply very quickly. This one just started out as one single little plant. Now look at it. And here's another one. They do so well in my area, so I think this is a great choice. Alrighty, let's get to planting and let the creation begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean out this pot and freshen up the soil. I may or may not use some of the succulent pieces in here. I don't know, I'm just going to figure it out as I go along. Some of my best creations are completely unplanned. So far, I really like the way this is turning out, and I knew that Haworthia was going to look so good in here. The Haworthias are one of my favorite succulents. They're so easy to please and they add so much color and interest to a garden. However, I wasn't too thrilled with the green coleus, so I'm going to switch it up with the red one instead. I just like the way the red coleus stands up taller and I just think it looks better. I would love to know what you think. Did I make the right choice? Now I'm going to dress it all up with some little white rocks I found at the river. I knew that day when I was collecting them that I would use them for something. I think my new plan stand will look really pretty against this queen palm tree. Plus this area needs a little splash of blue color. Isn't that just pretty? And how much did that cost me? $8 for the chair? $2 for the pot at a garage sale? And I already had all these plants. And those little rocks I used for a top dressing, you're not gonna believe this, but I found those on the river. This is such a cute little painted chair plant stand. I guess you could say on a budget. So the next time you're at a garage sale or a thrift store and you see an old chair, don't overlook it. It might make a nice plant stand. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you garden happy too because gardening should be fun, not expensive. <laughs> Bye.